Hello YouTube and all inhabitants, this is NBE, A17 here with another video coming at you. And today, as you can see, we are back in another Minecraft video. Where if you look behind me, we have something that looks a bit like a capsule. So, many of you guys know of that like extremely complex elevator inside Minecraft and you're like, like like some people who aren't exactly the best at redstone are like oh my gosh i really want like an elevator but like i don't know if i can build this one correctly well boy do i have the answer for you this one is extremely simple you could probably build it in about two minutes if you're not putting the capsule behind you so um this is actually known as a slime block elevator i believe so uh, or or even like a flying machine uh, so, I'm just going to show you guys how it works and how to build it today. So, as you can see, uh, if we just step in here and then press this button, we will be launched into the air extremely easily. Uh, yes, this is known as a flying machine, uh, something like that. And um, there's also a bonus to this. Sometimes, if you can, you can build this in Survival Minecraft, but sometimes... You can even, uh, what would you say for that? Sometimes, so wait, let me just grab some obsidian. Sometimes it even duplicates blocks as it's going up. So, oh yeah, 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 here's an example. It's actually duplicating these observers right here. So let me just go down into here and get rid of all those. Yeah, okay. So, uh, if you don't want those there, can't really do anything about that. Uh, sometimes it duplicates, sometimes it doesn't, so you could just, like, throw on some diamond blocks in there or something. And I think that that will work, but, uh, I'm not sure. And, um, let me just set the time today real quick. What? Time day? That's, okay, yeah, that's definitely a given. Slash time set day. There we go. Okay, so... Uh, it's also just as simple to send it straight back down, and if you do want this thing to stop dead in its tracks, then you just want to put an immovable block up above it. As you can see, obsidian is immovable. You can't move it with pistons or anything. Uh, terracotta. So, terracotta is very good for making these elevator shafts, because slime blocks can't carry them. But like they also can't. But like they also can't move. Like it, it's confusing. But it's just as easy to send it down. All you need to do is cause an update to this observer, right here, and then it will start to slowly go down. Then, as you can see, if I go all the way down to here and look inside, there is a piece of obsidian right here that will stop it from uh hitting the ground you don't really need the piece of obsidian i just think it's a little bit better because obviously pistons can't move that like the entire world <laughs> which yeah that, that would be kind of hard they can't really move the entire world so uh as you can see when it gets sent down it stops just in the right spot so if we go underneath and look at how this thing works we can just break these blocks uh if we go underneath then we can see that when you hit the button right here, it sends a redstone signal down to here. And then there's also a repeater with three ticks. That's very important there. And then it sends a redstone signal to this observer right here. Uh, well, it actually doesn't send a redstone signal. That wouldn't work if that wasn't an observer. Because the observer is detecting a block update, not just the redstone signal it's detecting the block update and when a redstone signal it gets sent to there then the block update occurs so uh i will real quick go get all the materials that are needed for this and i will see you guys when i have all those materials and i'm going to show you how you can build this in your own survival minecraft world see you then Okay guys, so here we are with all the materials that you are going to need. I'm almost certain that this is all the materials. I'm not sure exactly how many of each material you will need, but it is pretty simple how to build this. So, what you are going to want to do first is you want to, I think, dig down uh, about five blocks. Dig down five blocks like this. Uh, or is that four? Can I count? That is five blocks. Okay, thank you. And make a four by four 
or a two by two area, uh, and then go underneath here and actually go go right here and take out one block on each of these sides right here. So the top needs to be two by two, but when you go down here, it must be four by four because it will be no good because the slime the, the slime blocks will connect onto these sandstone blocks or any block that you're doing uh and it, it won't move the elevator itself will not move so actually let's dig down one more block i think and yeah that that should be good for digging so let's build up two blocks now and make sure that you have an observer facing downward like that then you take your slime you put one slime block right there put those right there break that slime block and then take your sticky pistons which are right here and take a sticky piston right there and make it facing downward then put a sticky piston right here facing upward break that slime block put a slime block right there and actually you didn't need to break that slime block then you do that and uh, there you go so this is essentially the machine uh done and uh right here make sure that you choose a movable block for this part of uh, just for simplicity i've chosen a block of iron so if i just put iron down right there then it will work and then uh one last thing you want to take out all the blocks around here actually i completely forgot to do that because the slime would still pick those up as well and usually uh you would have this thing around them so you take the terracotta uh th this green terracotta i feel like uh, these go together nice and uh, you just put them right here as the path that you walk onto because obviously slime cannot push terracotta so then one last thing one last observer that we will need to put down you want to make sure that the observer is facing into this piston so just aim for the slime block up here and then place it there and as you can see it will go down one so let's just take obsidian which is our immovable block and put it up one more and just break the block beneath this so that it'll go back up one more so then let's get rid of that obsidian and now let's make the launching mechanism so i'm gonna come out one more block make another terracotta path right there put a button down and then go down below right there and put redstone dust there redstone dust here then we want to break into this part right here like that and then break one more down to here so you're gonna want to put redstone dust on all of those parts and then put redstone dust going all the way up to right here so this part is very important so that your machine does not go flying up into the sky before you put the repeater and the redstone dust down right there make sure that you have an immovable block put right there or your machine is just going to go flying into the sky so let's put a repeater down with three ticks and finally put down a redstone dust right below this observer block then after that we can get rid of this immovable block right here we can put uh some sandstone over that click the button and you will be launched into the sky so guys this thing will actually go all the way up until block limit it never stops until it reaches block 256 because obviously you can't have blocks uh up there and obviously it is beginning to duplicate things so you could actually just like slap a diamond block onto there and i think that you would start duplicating things so you have an elevator and a diamond block duplicator so that's pretty good so uh i kind i really do like this design guys and you can just put some obsidian uh wherever you want your block to stop right there uh so yeah that's gonna be it for this video guys if you did enjoy or if this did help you in any way shape or form please do leave a like and if it really helped you then please do subscribe it helps out my channel a ton and uh yeah that's gonna be it for this video i do hope you guys enjoyed and uh make sure you turn on post notifications and i will see you guys next time goodbye